The Rhino Gumball is a widget that we can use to make geometry transformations faster and easier. Let's create another box to demonstrate this. Let's come to the bottom of the screen and turn the Gumball tool on. Now when we select any geometry, you'll see a colourful icon appear in the middle. This is the Gumball widget and it allows us quick and easy transformations of our geometry. Let's look at the movement arrows first. If I click and hold with my left hand mouse button on the red arrow, you can see I can drag and move the box along the X axes. I could do with the same with the Y axes and the Z axes. I can also click once on either of these axes and specify an accurate movement, say of 20 millimeters. The colorful arcs you see are the rotational widgets on the gumball. They work the same as the move. If I click and drag on the blue one, I can freely rotate the object. I can also click once and specify an angle that I want to rotate at, say for example 90 degrees. These control squares at the bounds of the geometry enable us to scale in a certain direction. If I click the red, I can scale along the y axis, and if I click the green, I can scale along the x axis. If I click and hold down shift while scaling, I can actually scale the entire geometry uniformly. If we right click on the gumball settings, you'll see that we have a few different options. Let's demonstrate one of these. What if we created a plane in Rhino? And then we rotated that plane at an angle. You'll notice that our gumball follows the orientation of the plane. However, when we deselect the geometry and reselect, the gumball's orientation has reset to the transformation of the C plane that we have. So sometimes it's really helpful to have the gumball aligned to the geometry you're using. To control this, right click on gumball at the bottom here and select align to object and the gumball will update its orientation to your geometry, which makes it a lot easier to manipulate and transform the geometry.